Hey guys, my name is Turgolive, and in this video I'm actually going to show you how to stream off the Streamlabs app to do IRL streaming so that you can stream around your neighborhood, if you're traveling to another city, another state, another country, if you do have service, you are able to do an IRL stream. I'm going to kind of go over a little bit of different settings that you can do, things that you can test as well as showing you the different settings that are available to you. I'm actually a Twitch streamer myself. I stream about four to five days different. Uh, depends on the week. Um, again, my name is Turbo Live on Twitch. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and comment on another tutorial that you might want to work on. All right, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the Streamlabs app here and at the you can see right there there's the title of the stream uh, you can go ahead and click on the edit button and you can change the title and then you can put it to just chatting or IRL uh, you can of course maneuver how you want there then uh, at the bottom you're able to click on the settings and it gives you a bunch of different options but first we're going to click on settings and then you can click on the streaming platform that you do want to use, Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, uh, different ones that you are able to work with there. Um, and then this is, gives you all the different preferences that you are able to look at. And then you can, you know, change your twist in jest, which server you want to do there. Um, and then you can also, this is very key, is your broadcast, okay? Typically, you can do 720, 1080, uh, you're really going to want to make sure to test where you're going to be able to be at. 60 frames per second is going to be the highest that you can do, more more realistic there. They give you a bunch of different, um, you know, different video bit rates that you are able to do. Again, you're going to want to test your internet connection really to see well, what's going to be optimal for you there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and go ahead and do the camera focus you can look at that it's just a small little settings that you can do you can log out do the about page there everything like that then you can go to editor and then you can put the alert box you can put your chat you can do different layers gives you what kind of widgets you can add or tut or text or widgets everything like that um, you can do credits stream boss viewer count follower goal you know, media share, sponsor banner, spin wheel, different things. And you can also do your uh, custom options there. And then you can also do text or add an image to it as well. So you can really customize this how you want. Um, you can also choose to reset the whole thing. You are also able to have like an option of being able to screen, share, screen capture. You can do multi streams to multiple different platforms. There's a different, there's a tutorial on how to do the, um, you know, screen capture. Uh, you got to allow your phone to capture that there. But you, if you choose to do that, you can definitely go that route. Um, and then really, um, you can go, you know, go to the website to get more information on that. On this side here, if you look at this, it looks at your, like your history of like who followed, who's thrown bits, everything like that. And then you can also double tap on the screen and you can re uh, you can look at it that way. You can also click in the upper right and you can switch the cameras, but usually you can double tap on just the, the actual screen and you can turn the camera around. And that's the varying different settings to be able to do that. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate uh, and make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks guys.